here with Chef Lee today. All right. And we are making potatoes. That's why I'm going to describe it. Uh, uh, <laughs> Lee's going to tell you that actually. So they're uh, garlic and uh, rosemary beef stock uh, roast potatoes. Oh, Said that all at once. <laughs> 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 bit of a mouthful. In Ireland here, we love our potatoes. I think we're a bit of a potato expert in mm -hmm. the way of creating yeah, them. Never. And obviously, Chef Lee is going to be an expert of creating the most delicious potatoes um, for this festive season. So, Lee, tell us first what. Um, no ingredients we're going to need for it. So, this is a simple one. So, the only ingredients you're going to need for the potatoes is the potatoes, obviously. Mm -hmm. Garlic, rosemary, which is a finely chopped fresh rosemary. Don't use dried, it just doesn't come out as nice and it's too potent and strong. And a teaspoon of beef stock. This is the better bullion beef stock. And uh, a tablespoon of vegan butter. Oh, now I know what the members are going to ask. What potatoes are those? Morris Piper. Can you use any potato? No, you want a good roasting potato. In America, I don't know their varieties. Mm -hmm. What's best, but King Edward's over here or Morris Piper. Like a real firm potato, is that Firm potato, potato come fluffy in the middle and stuff. Mm -hmm. Breaks at the ed edges and doesn't break all together. Awesome, and just with these um, better than bullion, I believe Amazon, is that what Amazon, yeah, yeah. Brilliant, so. That's what normally gets me that. <laughs> <laughs> or somebody else orders you. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Brilliant. So, we've got our ingredients. What about equipment today? Equipment, you're going to need a large pot. Well, medium to large pot. You're going to need a sieve and a pre roasting spray non stick. Amazing. All right. Take it away. What's our step one for right. the potatoes? Step one for the potatoes, guys, is just uh, let me see. Heavily, well, heavily salted water. A teaspoon of salt. Probably should have put that in the ingredients too. That's okay. Is that sea salt? Or it's, yeah, Maldon, Maldon sea salt I use, but you can use any salt, but I just like to use the good stuff here. And then a teaspoon of the batter beef bouillon. Good thing about this, guys, is this starts the flavour in the potatoes. So as it's cooking, the potatoes start to absorb the saltiness of it and then the beef stock flavour. And the good thing about it too is if you drain that, you can use that for your gravy. Ooh, so it's a, good, it's a good start and a good base for your gravy. So straight in with the potatoes. You just peeled them, roughly chopped them. Yep, yep, roughly chopped them. You want them roughly about the same size because you want them all cooking nice and evenly. Nice and chunky. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So once they come to a boiler, guys, I'd say about eight to 10 minutes, and I'll show you the next stage when we come back. You want them just starting to crumble around the edges, but still firm in the middle. Right. You're not cooking them, you're just cooking the edges. That's it. That's why you want to put them into hot water. You don't want to start them in cold water. Because then they just cook from the middle out right, and then your roast potatoes just fall apart. Brilliant. We'll see you at the next step. Oh. Hey, we are at the next step of the potatoes. Lee, take it away. Hey guys, next step here. So as you can see, these have been boiling for about seven, eight minutes. As you can notice here, starting to crumble around the edges, but still quite firm in the middle. So I'm going to take these off now. And as I say, guys, you can keep that stock for a gravy. So I'm going to keep it for a gravy. Ooh, that's nice. So, so um, so scoop them out rather than pouring. Scoop it's them out. Well, if you pour them out, you're pouring the stock yes. away. So that's why, if you don't want the stock, you're not using it, just pour them over. It's wasted flavor, if you ask me. And you're always making a gravy at Christmas time. So better at them for. So a wee tip here, it's just lightly, see all these wee broken bits around the edges? Mm -hmm. That's what you want. That's what makes your roast potatoes. So now what I'm gonna do, guys, is let all the water evaporate off those potatoes before the next stage because you want all that steam, all the water out because the next stage is roasting them and you want them crispy. So remind me again, how many minutes do we have it on there? About seven, eight minutes on the boil until just starting to break around the edges as you can see here. They kind so of look fluffy at the edges fluffy, already. Fluffy, fluffy at the edges, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that, that's what creates the crispiness. And I could smell, I could start to smell Spice. the flavor of the cooking. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah uh -huh. so that's your flavors already starting for Christmas. Brilliant. The flavors are going around the house, the smells are around the house. So. Do, do they need to do anything Heating up the oven or anything while this is happening? No, no, you're letting these completely cool. So the next stage that I'll show you is obviously as takes you in, you don't want to be standing here looking at me for five, ten minutes. That takes about five, ten minutes for all the water just to evaporate off them. You don't want to put them straight in the roasting tray. You can if you want, but you don't, I find you don't get a, a crispy roast potato. Cool. You get a crispier one, you just let it cool and let all the water come out. Nice. So we will um, leave these for five, ten minutes and see you at the next step. So we have let the moisture evaporate from the potatoes? Yeah, yeah, correct. How many minutes was that in here? I'd say about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. You want most of the steam off. Still leave it a steam, but that's perfectly fine, guys. Perfect. You so don't want them going stone cold. Oh no. So we're on to our next step. On to the next step here, guys. So as I showed you, this is the roasting tray. And I put the three tablespoons of olive oil in here. Would you roughly know how many inches that is deep? 
two inches, two one, inches and a, one and a half. It's quite, it's quite deep, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, just as long as it's nice and deep and it's got none stick on it. Okay, yeah, right? yeah. And then and about three tablespoons of olive three oil. Three tablespoons of olive oil in there, guys. And has it been heating up that pan? I right, put that in the oven and just give the oil a wee heating up. Brilliant. So then you're just tossing. Just tossing your potatoes in the oil and getting them completely put, put out, just watch this right now. So that's it. Oh, nice. And then they go into the oven at, I would say, 210 for about 30 to 35 minutes, checking them every 10 minutes, guys, and just giving them a wee toss. Perfect, so 210 Celsius, so that'll be more in Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. Don't have the conversion right off the top of our heads, but if you convert 210 Fahrenheit and 30 minutes check every 10 minutes and give them a little flip. Yeah, yeah. Right. Perfect. We will see you at the final step. Perfect. It is the potato finale. We're ready for the big reveal. Yeah. Three. Good things come to those who wait this day, sir. Oh, yeah. So, that's rosemary and the garlic. You don't want that in too long, guys, because your garlic, if it becomes brown, it becomes bitter. Ooh, okay. You don't want that. These look so tasty. So it's gonna be crunchy on the outside, fluffy on the inside. Of course, of course. So nice. Oh, and then you can't beat a good potato at Christmas or any time of the year. Just a wee bit of, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I love it. Every Sunday for me. <laughs> and then just a wee bit of salt. I would like the salt to be finer. That's crunchy, chunky uh, melt on. Mm -hmm. If it's finer, it sparses a bit more. But it'll be totally fine. Uh, I would say try them more, but they are probably roasting. You could possibly, do you know what, break one? Let's break one, I'll give a, I'll yeah. sacrifice my tongue. Yeah. <laughs> a slight burn yeah, for it. You have to do the crumbs there. Yes, like that one. Oh, yes. Let's see. Oh, I'm trying to try and get through. Oh, yeah. That's what you want. See the listen, or sorry, the sound of the crunch. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to just be careful there. For this wee bit. But oh, look at that, just again, the texture on the outside and the, the softness on the inside. Yeah, so much cheese is even better here, guys. Oh, they're so good, Lee. Nice and fluffy. Right, this bit. Sorry, I'm going to use my fingers now just to try and get the. Cool it down a wee bit. <laughs> Uh, oh, well, I hear crunching. Mmm. <laughs> oh, just amazing. It's like the inside's like melt in your mouth, but then the outside's all like the, the texture the and then the flavour on it. And then the aromats of the rosemary. If you don't like rosemary, guys, leave it out. If you don't like garlic, leave it out. Leave the oil, leave the butter off it if you want. They'll roast up perfectly fine with just salt at the end. Uh, but if you want to just level them up and the, for your, your uh, what am I trying to say, for the people that's coming over, they, they'll just, they'll know that you put that wee bit more effort. They're just it. so tasty, eh? Oh, oh, brilliant. Awesome. I'll bring this one over, just a oh, last little look in. So there we have an amazing um, side dish again. Yeah. Festive season, any season, and we've got the top um, potato cooking tips from Ireland. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, uh, if, if, if I let this one down, I was in trouble. You were, <laughs> <laughs> but Lee, thank you very much for this. No problem.